If any officer in this police department disagrees and thinks that this was acceptable, I will gladly accept your resignation today. And here they are. These are the photos that have caused a scandal at the Aurora Police Department. Photos of three officers depicting a neck hold at the memorial for Elijah McClain a few months after he died. Now, three officers involved with these photos have been fired. Nine News reporter Ryan Hare is live at the Aurora Police Department headquarters today. Ryan, Chief Vanessa Wilson says she really expedited this process once she learned about the photos. Right, so Jennifer, she was notified by an Aurora police sergeant about eight days ago of these photos that were taken all the way back in October. She says she learned about it eight days ago. It took the department that long, just over a week, to move through all of the internal affairs processes they needed to get to the uh, determination of termination. And Vanessa Wilson, the, the interim chief here at Aurora, says she denied all the officers involved a chance to uh, appeal this decision. She would not allow that to happen. She wanted an immediate firing, and so it happened today. Let's Let's look at these photos again. I want to explain to you what you're seeing here. It shows Jerron Jones. He's the one in the hat. He's the one who resigned actually yesterday before all of these termination notices came down, doing a carotid hold on Officer Kyle Dittrich, uh, a move used on Elijah McClain before he died. The third posting officer is Erica Marrero. They sent this photo to officers Nathan Woodyard and Jason Rosenblatt. Woodyard deleted the photo and said nothing about it to anyone. He did not lose his job, but Rosenblatt responded to the text with a quote, ha ha, and that response got him fired. Rosenblatt and Woodward were involved in the struggle with McLean that ended in McLean's death, and the three who snapped the photo said they took it and sent it to those two officers to cheer them up. Interim Chief Vanessa Wilson had some thoughts on that one. In their explanation, I don't buy it, is that they were trying to cheer up a friend by sending that photo and how anybody could think that was going to make anybody uh, happy uh, is beyond me. Um, Mr. Rosenblatt felt that he would respond ha ha and I can tell you that Mr. Woodyard was extremely disturbed. Uh, those officers had requested an IRB which I denied. An IRB is an investigative review board which is merely a recommendation that is given to the chief of police. Nothing was going to change my mind on termination. Therefore, I denied their right to an investigative review board, and I am, I am legally able to do so. And I terminated the remaining three. They are no longer able to wear this badge or represent this agency. So the police union for the Aurora Police Department responded to this decision by Vanessa Wilson today, sending out a statement basically saying that this all happened too fast, that the investigation violated the officer's due process. They pointed out that a, a standard internal affairs investigation takes oftentimes months, and this one happened uh, in just over a week. But as you just heard, uh, Interim Chief Vanessa Wilson not uh, taking her time with this one. She wanted these officers fired as soon as possible. She ended the press conference today by uh, again apologizing to Elijah McLean's mother who uh, she says she met with early this morning to make sure that she saw these photos first. Jeremy. Yeah, that's right, Ryan. You know, we have a protest that's planned tonight in Aurora, and we got to wonder how these, um, you yeah. know, how these photos are going to impact that protest. We appreciate your reporting out there, and I know you're going to be covering those protests tonight. You stay safe, and I'll be out there later tonight. Too, Will do. So. Thanks, Ryan.